Hi, uh, now let's look at how do we open or close a file on the mainframe. So th this is very important for a beginner, especially who is into ETL development, right? So just this is uh, this will be very important for them. So since the environment is very new and the screens are very new here, so I'll be explaining you very in detail on how do we open or a or close a file on the mainframe system. First, let me connect to the mainframe system. So here I'm connected to the mainframe system. So as I have uh, mentioned in my earlier tutorial, so this will be uh, the primary screen or the first screen that gets connected after you get connected onto the mainframe system, right? So how do we go and access the file? So just go to 3.4, 3.4 when you type 3.4 at the option and press enter. So you'll be uh, directing to the data set utility area. So here I need to type the file name M A T E B A dot. Let me take like orders one. So this was the one uh, I have created. This is one of the data set that is available, right? Just press enter here. So oh, if the data set is not found, if this particular file is not found, you can see the message as no data set name found. Okay, let me remove this. Yes order one yes when you enter it now you can see you are entered into the next screen so you can see the screen name DS list data set matching uh, this particular uh, file and uh, you can see the file is existing here and here the two th important things to observe here is uh, here there is an uh, uh, area called as command and this is called as a file name and this is uh, nothing but a volume where the data is being stored okay and uh, on the command line so there will be a different set of commands that we need to uh, type to view the file or to see the file okay there will be a different uh, kinds of modes of operations I can say to check the file first one is browse okay you if you B for browse I just type B and enter here now you can see the data set information or a file information so on the mainframe Normally we call it as a data set or a physical sequential file or a flat file, right? So here you can see the file information in a browse mode. Okay, now you want to close this file or come out of this file. So how do we do? So as I said, you have a different function keys here. F3 is one of the function key to come out of this file and close it. Just F3. So now the file got closed, right? In the same way, if you want to uh, see it in a view mode just type it as a V here and enter okay once again enter now you can see it is entered in a view mode just if you see any messages here just type it as RES reset it will clear that messages that is nothing but it's just a display okay so now you can see it in the view mode okay now you may have a question like what is the difference between browse and a view mode in the browse you cannot edit anything I mean you cannot type anything here right so in the view mode you can you can uh, write any data here okay so you can uh, type one two three ABC or anything right and just enter the thing in the view mode is you cannot save it right so when I uh, when I try to close this file after entering some information here when I try to close it or it says you are currently in view mode press enter to confirm exit from view no changes will be saved so this is a message that gets popped up just press enter so now you are out of this and I'll uh, do the same for the browse B and can I type here no not at all so it will not allow me uh, to type anything here right so just I go it uh, code of the screen that is F3 to exit okay the first command that we have learned here is B for browse V uh, for view so it can be either in the uppercase or it can be in the lowercase anyways it will work okay so this is about how do we open a file or a closer file in browse mode in view mode okay so what about edit so mostly for a ETL developer or a QA don't go in a edit mode okay so since this data will be very confidential information that is being processed on the mainframe system so even if you have an access to it just please don't go it in an edit mode mostly you will be not having an access of the edit mode 
even if you have an access so just don't try to enter into the edit mode okay so whatever the data that you change that will be saved if you are entering in a edit mode okay so how do we enter just e enter okay so i mean press enter again okay now you can see just i'm typing reset so just it's a warning so okay so now i can add some other name so let me take like a name uh, user a uh, phone like this i have entered some text here okay and uh, see you have a cursor here and if you want to go to the command prompt just just press home button on the keyboard so it will come back to this okay press f3 okay now you can see data set is saved and it's been edited okay now when i view this now you can see the data set is saved i mean uh, the data is saved in the data set so that is how there are three different modes of opening the file uh, and uh, how do we open that so one is in the browse mode and other is in the view mode and other is in the edit mode so these are the three different ways that you can open or close the file okay thank you so much for watching this tutorial i'll be coming up with more and more tutorials to make your job easy and to make you learn mainframe okay thanks a lot